It's Nigel Lamb. It's no idle boast to call him the greatest air racing pilot in the world because Nigel is the current Red Bull Air Race champion. What he can't do with the plane can't be done. So, Nigel, how does this plane compare to a normal light plane? Well, it's built specifically for aerobatics and then modified for racing. Carbon fibre, unbelievably strong, very agile, uh, as you're about to find out. <laughs> what attracted you to the sport? Because it is, you know, surely you need to have a little bit of a screw loose to, to <laughs> want to do this. No, not really. This is the ultimate con competition in terms of a flying machine, man or woman, uh, and, and a clock. I mean, I've been in doing air shows all my, all my life, since I left the military 35 years ago. So it's flying machines close to the ground has been what I've done for most of my life. And what, what am I going to experience in the next 10 minutes? What I'd like to do is push you to, to your limit, find out what your limit is. I think my limit would probably be stepping in the plane. So with that, I got in the plane. Racing car She's not nervous. <laughs> For the last two weeks, I have had sleepless nights about going up in the plane. It goes down all the way, push it yep. hard down to the you feel a bit yep. I have seen these Red Bull Air racers, and they are phenomenally quick, and they pull massive G. If you're going upside down, I need that tighter. <laughs> and I was worried that I, I would have bitten off more than I could chew. Got a bit of fresh air, but these yeah, are the ones to go air. for. More air, less air, yeah? Okay. It's my sick bag. <laughs> we're going to take off with it empty. And we're going to land, land with it, with it empty. empty. And the it's canopy will be full. Okay. <sighs> Clear. There we go. you see where you're going? I can't, I can't. So that's why I weave. It's not because I had alcohol at lunchtime. <laughs> I'm clearing, I'm swinging through the middle, now I'm clearing on the right. Yeah. Then I'll swing through again. Okay, so here we go. The hand's clear of the controls. You just hold your straps. You ready? Yep. Nigel's unflappable at the controls would be an understatement. How do you know that a plane isn't just going to pop out of a cloud and... Oh, well, you keep your eyes open, this visibility is not great, but it's not the worst. Okay. Before Nigel showed me what the MX-2 was truly capable of, it seemed I'd be getting a short flying lesson. Gently, gently hold the stick, OK? We're doing about 200 miles an hour now. Are you kidding me? So you've got control, little forward, gently forward, very gentle pressure rather than pushing. Can you feel the nose going back on the horizon? Yeah. Okay, now just rock, move the stick left and right, but keep, keep the nose on the horizon, that's great. Do you see that picture? Nigel, that's like, a, I'm not even moving it. No, 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 you just breathe it. If you think a performance car is responsive, it's nothing to this aircraft. Now push the right wing down, so push the stick to the right. It's great. That's insane. Let the nose come down a little bit, and then hold that picture, hold that picture there. But was that really such a good idea? As Nigel told me how to prepare for what was to come, I began to have my doubts. Now, with G-Force, if you tension your thighs and your stomach muscles, yeah. like a silent scream when I say tense, OK? OK. Then you'll find it a little bit easier, yeah? Apparently, we'd be starting with a tight turn. That's 
I don't know what I'd been worrying about until I realised that Nigel was barely out of first gear. Yeah, I'm just going to roll around. Was that awesome? you crazy fool! Wow. Having completed a few aileron rolls, it was time for an inside loop. And we just kept on going more and more and... A double for sure? Yeah, for sure. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, I just can't breathe! <laughs> Nigel's next trick involved putting the aircraft into a vertical climb. Until it stopped. Okay, we stopped now. Let's put it around, look over the nose. Yeah, I'm looking How's over that? the nose. Um, yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, awesome. That's called a hammerhead, apparently. Do a little cheeky roll on the way down. Nigel had to tense up for this one. Can relax now. Oh. That was six and a half G. Wow, well, yeah. no car can it make you experience that. No, no, no. No and, way. And just so you know, that was less than 50% of what this airplane can do. Oh, man. Right? Awesome. Yeah. You did a good job. Can I tell you, I'd rather be a passenger with you than Tiffany done any day. <laughs> The reason Tiff didn't want to go up on the plane is because he's a big, fat, scaredy cat. Having seen what Nigel and his incredible MX2 were capable of... We did it! We did it! I now appreciated the enormity of the challenge we faced. Oh, Nigel, I love it! <laughs> I stepped up to the mark this time round, and I have to say, yeah, I, I nailed it. 